Hey guys, Kellen here from Unscribed Productions. This video was created for DanceTubes.tv. In this video, we'll be discussing the firmware update that DJI have recently released for the Mavic 3 series. This includes the Mavic 3, the Mavic 3 Pro, and the Mavic 3 Classic. I'll be using the Mavic 3 Pro for the demonstration of this video. Now, some of the features are exclusively for the Mavic 3 Pro, but the rest of the features are for the whole Mavic 3 series. Just before we get into it, if you're new to drones and want to build up your confidence, and want to become a fearless drone pilot, Dan has a 10% discount code to access the Fearless Drone Academy, which is the most ultimate online drone course for any beginner drone pilot. The code is DANSTUBE. If you go to the website www.fearlessdrone.academy and sign up through there, you can save 10% with the code DANSTUBE. If you're in Australia interested in purchasing a Mavic 3 Pro or any other DJI accessory or drone, I highly suggest you check out the D1 store as Dan has great subscriber bundles and combos for all you guys. The links will be in the description. Now, let's start with the Mavic 3 Pro. If we click the 7x camera, we now have the option to use D-Log M and HLG in 10-bit color. Next is the 3x camera. It's now capable of filming master shots, quick shots, night shots and spherical panoramas. Now, with the rest of the firmware updates for the Mavic 3 series, we now have access to vision assist, augmented reality and frame guides. Let's get started with Vision Assist. Vision Assist utilizes the front, back, left and right obstacle avoidance sensors to produce a black and white image which can help improve safety and assistance when flying to make sure you can prevent any collisions. This can be accessed when you swipe right on the bottom left corner of the screen. This can only be accessed when in flight. The first out of all three new AR features is HomePoint. HomePoint is now shown as a H on the screen this is absolutely perfect when you've flown a bit too far, not too sure where you took off from. The next AR feature is Return to Home. When you've clicked the RTH button, you will see a green overlay on your screen, showing your route and where we'll be going through, so you can check if there's any obstructions on your way home. The lucky last AR feature is Drone Shadow. This shows you the exact spot where the drone will land. This can be so helpful in many ways, as in many locations there's uneven terrain and surfaces which could cause major or minor damage to your new Mavic. If you don't really want to utilize all these AR features, you can always disable them in the safety settings. Another major feature on this new firmware update is frame guides. This can be accessed in the settings under camera and just scroll to the bottom area and click the desired aspect ratio you would like. This adds a new perspective to your video as you can reframe to the desired aspect ratio. Make sure when you edit the video in post, you won't miss out anything you have filmed. This is just a reference, it will not save it as the aspect ratio you have chosen, but instead it will film it at 16 by 9. Now, another feature they have added has given us the ability to turn off the downward vision positioning sensors. This can be accessed in the settings under safety and just scroll down and click advanced safety settings. This has pros and cons. Pros are, you can now hand catch faster as you won't have to wait for sensors to determine its landing. And if you fly in fog and try to land, you won't have trouble landing. The cons are that the drone will not hover as well, as it needs the sensors in order to stabilize itself. I hope you all enjoyed the video, so if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Dan's channel as well as go check out my channel. That's it for this video, see you in the next one.